All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a video. Um, I'm going to be expanding my chicken coop, and I'm going to be using uh, a mixture of new materials, and I'm going to try to use as much of the old chicken coop as I can. And uh, I'm going to be using a easy frame shed kit uh, to build the new chicken coop, and it's going to be basically about twice the size of the old one to accommodate all of our new chickens. So sit back and enjoy. Here's where it's at. We got it all tore apart, separated from the little round things that I had. So now this needs to move over to there. And then I have the roof that I pulled off. And the roof is gonna be, I'm gonna take these panels off, I already got them loose. But I'm gonna take these roof panels off and this is a four by eight, just like the coop is. And I'm gonna use this plywood uh, two by four frame here as the floor for the other half. And I'm gonna frame out a new roof. And I'm gonna use that material up there for the new roof. So basically we gotta move this over here next, move that over there. And then I gotta cut a couple more uh, four by four legs and uh, then I'll attach the once I move it I'll attach the the roofing the old roof I'll attach it over here on this side with two more legs on it and uh, that'll be the base and then we'll start framing up the walls and I'll use I'll use as much as the original walls as I can but I'm gonna be using a uh, easy frame shed kit uh, to uh, frame it out so I'll go over that as I'm as I'm going
guys, we're back the next day. This is where we're at. I it got hot and it started getting dark. I couldn't really get it all on video, so sorry about that. But <sighs> this is what you miss. I put the end walls on, and this is actually if you follow the shed kit, this is actually pretty much how they do it. Without they don't they don't put this piece on here, but they uh, put a cross member across the top there, and then they put these on the face and that's how they make their end walls so it's pretty flimsy honestly but uh i put this extra piece here helps sturdy it up some more and uh you can see that the top fits in to the uh brackets there and uh yeah so i did that i put the i did the same thing on the other side just with more it's just got some scrap boards on it so that's the only reason that it's got a bunch of a bunch of two by uh, I think they were two by sixes or I can't remember two by eights. That's the only reason it's got these over here. It's not for anything any particular reason. It's just because that's what I had laying around, so that's what I used. <clears throat> Obviously, you have to use a two by four for it to fit into there, but it's the same exact setup that I did on the other side, just with bigger boards. And then I went ahead and measured all the gaps here and I put a, a board in the middle in between each uh, each wall. And this thing is, I mean, it's solid. It's solid as rock, so. You know, these brackets, they're okay, but I don't know, they're, they're pretty flimsy. I already knew that. I used them to build the greenhouse too. So I knew that they weren't really worth much, but I didn't I got them for free somebody gave them to me a couple kits of them They're not they're not really cheap. I think they're like $40 for the kit I'll leave a link in the description if anybody really is interested in buying something like that, but The only thing that I didn't use is It's got a bunch of just flat plate brackets that they they want you to use to fasten these to the to the base to fasten these to the base and then basically the plans call for you to not have a seal plate like this and just fasten the 2x4 directly to the base if it was me um, even no matter what I was building I just do it this way on your on your side walls just build the bottom of the wall normal and then you can use the brackets up here and then there's just no real point in having them over here. You can use them, I guess. But they're so small, too, that it's hard for them to stretch over this and catch anything on both sides. So, I don't know. But these brackets are kind of nice, you know. They, they make it kind of easier, I guess. But if you have a miter saw, you know, like I do, uh, there's really no need to use something like this. But if you're a beginner in carpentry and you like to uh you'd like to you know do something i guess that's big <laughs> a big project for somebody who's a beginner like building a shed or any kind of little small building um i guess these kits can work and they also come with you know pretty pretty detailed pretty good instructions to uh build everything from the from the ground up they give you all the cutting lists and you know all the all the uh lengths and all that stuff everything you're going to need so in that respect i guess it's it's uh it would be good for somebody who doesn't have the the there are the tools to really do this but i do have a miter saw and it probably could have been almost easier just to make the make the rafters myself but but I had the I had the brackets, so I used them. So the next thing is going to be I, I need to build the nest boxes. I'm going to build them out of half inch plywood. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to have them elevated. I'm going to have some of those two by eights or whatever they are. One of these I got some more scrap of that, and I'm going to make a little box of that for the nesting boxes to sit on, and that way I'm going to have a little storage area there underneath the nest boxes where I can put egg cartons and stuff. It's not going to be very big. The nest boxes are going to be about four feet long. I'll just have four of them. That's all you need, trust me. 
they all like to lay in the same nest box anyway you're not going to need 20 nest boxes for 20 chickens um, so i'm going to put the nest boxes there when the plywood goes here on the outside i'm going to make the first you know probably half of this maybe depending on where the nest boxes end up but I'll make like the bottom half of this plywood a door that swings up like this that swings up and that way you can get in this side to rake out the shavings you can get in this side to get the the nest boxes and the storage I'm gonna make and then so we're just gonna put plywood on this side and just make a door for them cut a hole here I'm gonna try to make a make a door that I can slide up and down tie it to a string like most people do um, so yeah guys so here we are the chicken coop is essentially about 90% complete and uh, I used all the pieces from the old coop I still got some wood left over but I'll definitely be using it and a couple things that I kind of didn't catch on camera uh, I kind of kind of caught this on camera, I think, but 
I just made a little door here and I got a hook on it already but um, it's just going to go up and down like that. I put a little 2 by 4 at the base, tie a string to this, run it up to an eye bolt and run it over wherever I want it. But, but that's, that's the idea. And I just made sure it was a nice loose fit so I don't have to worry about it getting stuck. And we'll just leave that out for now. And then you saw me put the old sides to the old coop on here and we still got the window. We got three, uh, three uh, roosts in there. They like the two by fours and a three eight foot long roost. That should be plenty enough for a good 30 chickens probably. And we got the other side, easy peasy. And then something I didn't catch on camera was I reinforced this door with uh, some two by fours and uh, put the hinges on the outside kind of instead of where they were. And I put a latch on the bottom here that I still got to tinker with a little bit. But uh, there you go. Opens up like so. And I'll make something up here where I can just hook it and that'll hold it up real nice. And we got plenty of room to get in there. There you go. Closes real, real nice and I think that'll work pretty good. And then we got up here, I left the eaves open. I just put chicken wire there, get a nice, nice circulation through there and uh when it comes to winter time i'll probably just make some pieces of plywood and cover them up uh, if it gets too cold then the other thing that we're just a little short on here is our roof i kind of figured it was going to cover everything and it just doesn't quite get there so on this side I'm going to need to buy a piece of flashing to go over this. That's not that big a deal. Just buy a 10 foot, 10, 10 foot piece of flashing and be done with it. Then on the other side, I'm actually going to do a lean-to here with the, uh, with the old roof of the coop. And that's, what the, that's where the food and water are going to hang. And so that's why I'm gonna end this video here. I've got tons of footage and I gotta edit it all up and it's gonna be pretty long, I think, by the time I'm done even then. Uh, so the next video, we're gonna paint it. We gotta paint it all red like we did the old one. So we'll paint it all red. We'll get that over, we'll get that lean-to done. And, uh, We'll uh, get the ch the run done, which is gonna the lean to is gonna come out here about four feet, and then we're just gonna come straight off of it back over there to the fence, and then we're gonna come straight off the corner corner here, and then over there to the fence, and then they're just gonna have all the run of all that, and then I also have to make the nest boxes still. Um, and I think I'll just make my own little set. I'll make, I'll make a little separate video for the nest boxes and then I'll have this as part one of the chicken coop and then the part two will be us getting it painted, lean to and chicken run uh, done up and these pieces of, uh, of flashing that I need to get. So we got to go to the hardware store to get the flashing and try to get some stakes that I'm going to use to make the run. Uh, but to get this far with this, um, I really, I just used everything that I had 
with the old chicken coop and chicken run and I um, I spent about fifty dollars just getting some sheets of plywood and two by fours and uh, I probably could have done without you know half the two by fours that I got because I I still got quite a few uh, extras over there I could steal off the old chicken run so it's probably even less than fifty dollars I spent but hopefully we'll be getting our Menards rebate in soon and I'll I'll be running over there to get the stakes and the um, the uh, flashing for the roof but this thing is uh, operational besides not having nesting boxes so that'll probably be the next thing I do in the next video that comes out will probably be the nest box video and then probably sometime probably another week maybe I'll uh, come out with uh, part two of uh, getting the chicken coop ready to rock and roll so I think it's gonna work out great it's a it's a big coop eight eight feet by eight feet and I think it's gonna be plenty enough room for all of our chickens and we're gonna have a nice good size run for them so I like the way it's looking I like the way it turned out you know it's not gonna win any prizes but effective and efficient so that's gonna be it for this one guys thanks for watching